Um, okay, um, so I'm going to talk about uh, integration testing with Supertest. Um, my name is Jonathan Kremen. I tweet at kudos with a Z, and I'm on GitHub with kudos with a, an S. Um, I'm working for Udemy. Uh, we're currently hiring. I'm, I'm being paid to tell you that. Uh, um, so what is Supertest? Uh, this is going to be a really short talk, uh, I'm just realizing. So um, Supertest is uh, a combination of a really nice library called Superagent, um, plus a bit of a layering of um, assertions. So what is Superagent? Um, Superagent is a, it's a really nice and, uh, it's really nice and light um, HTTP client. Uh, it is universal JS. Um, so what that means is it's, it, the exact same code will run in the browser, but also will run the back end, so you can use the code in, in both places. So that can, that's kind of useful when you've got um, universal or isomorphic JS in, you know, in your actual overall framework. So for example, with Re React or something like that, you might want to use a library like this for, for doing all your services requests. Um, it has a really intuitive API. It's, um, kind of doesn't really take any learning at all. You, you see one example of it, and you can kind of guess how the rest of it will work. Uh, and it's by TJ Holowaychuk. Um, I don't know how many of you guys know who TJ Holowaychuk is, but he's basically written pretty much every JavaScript library you use. Uh, so like for the back end, he's written um, Express and Koa, which are the two biggest kind of back end frameworks you'd use. Um, and he's written Superagent as well. Uh, so this is what Superagent looks like. Um, this is actually using ES6 um, uh, syntax as well. Um, so you can see you do a request, um, you pick the verb, give it a URL, and you can send it some, some form data using send, you can set some headers, and then when you uh, say end, it actually does the request and fires off the callback and gives you the results. So Supertest, uh, it basically it is an extension of uh, Superagent, so it, um, it kind of you use the exact same API, but you're given the uh, additional methods, um, expect methods and assert assertion methods. Um, and those, those methods are really nice. They give you some shorthands uh, that makes it easier to deal with as well. So you can, for example, uh, easily tell uh, whether a header you were expecting got returned or some part of the body or a status code. Again, it's TJ Holloway Chuck. Um, and it'll basically work with any uh, any backend library that is API compatible with HTTP server, so Express and Koa obviously fit into that, and I think a bunch of others do. Even if you just write your own HTTP server, um, and if you're using HTTP dot server, the Node standard library, um, then it'll work with, with Supertest. Uh, so yeah, Express and Koa are the two main ones that this that you'd use this with. Um, so this is what Supertest looks like. Uh, it looks quite similar to Superagent. Um, the difference here is I'm importing my app. Uh, I'm passing my app.listen to uh, Supertest, which I've called an agent. And then I can go on and just make requests against it without giving it the additional parameters like where the server is running. Supertest looks after all that. So it actually spins up the, uh, the app server on a particular port and then just knows where to, to talk to. So, uh, and then just regular um, describes and its and stuff around it. Uh, and then towards the end, I'm doing a dot expect 200, which is saying if you look for 200 status. And then passing the second um, parameter is uh, a callback that I've taken from the, the test wrapper that says to the test, this test is done and everything went okay. Uh, this is a more complex one. So, uh, here I'm actually uploading a file so I can use the post verb, can attach a file, give it some authentication headers, tell it what header I expect back, the content type I expect back, I can set a, a regex as the value I expect to see rather than the string. Um, and then I can even do a little custom expect where I do my own assertions against the response I've gotten and then call end done to say that everything went okay. Uh, so this is it in practice. Um, here I'm using uh, Mocha as my test runner uh, and I'm running through um, uh, this um, file, spec file that I have. Um, you can see some gets and stuff in here. This is actually the server itself opening its response in line with my test runner. So I can, for in terms of debugging, it makes it really, really easy to see when things went wrong because I can see, for example, the exact status codes that I was expecting to see. Um, so yeah, the, the two tools that I used to kind of wrap this all up was uh, Mocha for the test runner and then Babel 
Um, I don't know if you can see back here, but I have uh, mocha dash or Babel register, which says, hey, run this with, with Babel. So Babel does the transform transformations on it so that all these uh, imports and stuff work. Um, and that's it. Any questions? Yep. So I have uh, test fixtures um, that I'm using, so I'm not actually putting them anywhere. So I just like, I can write it to dev null. Uh, but it, I've got test fixtures, so it's pulling a file that I have in my test suite, and it's uploading that. Um, and so it knows what size it should be, the name, and all that kind of stuff, too. Anything else? All right, thanks very much.